Hi, my name is Ken Davidian, and welcome to season two of Organization Theory in Space. In this season, I'm making a brief video for each chapter of the Oxford Handbook of Organizational Change and Innovation, second edition, edited by Marshall Scott Poole and Andy Vandeven. This video covers chapter 11 of the handbook, entitled Stakeholder Model of Change. After providing some background information, we'll talk about short, some shortcomings of current stakeholder theory, stakeholders' perceptions and how they can be influenced, outcomes from stakeholder interactions, and we'll finish up by talking about major themes in stakeholder research. We'll first start out by giving some definitions. Stakes in an organization can include finances, information access, goods and services, reputation, relationships, environmental conditions, and other resources. Stakeholders, as originally defined in 1963, are those groups without whose support the organization would cease to exist. Early stakeholder analysis focused on questions like, which groups are actual stakeholders? And which stakeholders should an organization pay attention to? This resulted in a theory of stakeholder identification and salience based on the relative power, legitimacy, and urgency of each stakeholder group. Subsequent researchers identified some shortcomings with the theory. First, stakeholder groups tend to be categorized in a one-dimensional fashion. Applying multiple dimensions increases aspects of specificity, complexity, and temporality of the stakeholder groups. Also, there is an overemphasis on the stakes possessed by the stakeholders. Traditional theorizing assumes a static set of concerns, needs, and demands, among other things. More recent research says it's better to think about what stakes are being asserted instead of who the stakeholders are. Finally, there seems to be an over-reliance on a focal organization's perspective in lieu of examining the dynamic and fluid networks of organizations, their formation around issues, and understanding joint or competing stakes of connected stakeholders that influence each other. Each stakeholder group has their own perceptions, and as, stake, as organizations change, the stakeholder relationships change. Organizational change involves management of three types of uncertainty, strategic, structural, and job-related. And these forms of uncertainty are commonly managed through information sharing. However, more information does not necessarily ensure a successful change process. Information sharing occurs through storytelling forms, and these stories alter the stakeholders' understandings and beliefs about the proposed change. This, in turn, affects the stakeholders' reactions of acceptance or resistance to the change. Unsurprisingly, leaders and change agents actively work to influence stakeholders' perceptions through communications designed to engage stakeholders in a positive way and to limit resistance. Different stakeholders interpret communications through different frames, which highlights some information and obscures other information. So different stakeholders hear different messages. Also, stakeholders may participate in the change process directly or indirectly, voluntarily or involuntarily, formally or informally. As a result of hearing different change communications differently, there can be different responses from every stakeholder group. Resistance to change, possibly in the form of dissent and negativity, is the most consequential response, commonly viewed negatively by organizations. The organizational response to resistance can be an attempt to alter or discredit the views of the resistor, trying to coerce them into silence, or to negotiate minimal levels of acceptable cooperation. Resistance can be classified as dispositional which is a psychological and emotional reaction to a loss of control by individuals who have a tendency toward rigidity, a lack of resilience, or an intolerance to change adjustment. Alternatively, resistance can be principled, which is highly analytic and evidence-based. Clearly, change communications to counter these different types of resistance are very different. Finally, there are five major themes in stakeholder research. These include recognition that stakeholder values matter during change. So knowing which stakeholder can influence organizational change is important to understanding how, when, or why a change may emerge. Research activities look at the framing of change, 
by both organizational leaders and stakeholders and how these frames can also influence outcomes. The theme of storytelling and change perception looks at anti-narratives, small pieces and stories that fit into the bigger picture of the change underway. Stakeholders' relationships are also being investigated, researching how change champions influence and facilitate change. Initial findings seem to indicate that change champions are only effective locally. Finally, research into how networks change and support change includes how networks affect communication channels and how strong network and emotional ties help ma employees manage change. There are many process research opportunities in this interesting aspect of organizational change to better understand how changes in network structures, relationships, or perceptions affect the response of resistance or compliance, the prediction of upcoming change, or the need for revised strategies for change, implementation, or engagement. Well, that's it for this episode of Organization Theory in Space. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And if you did, please consider subscribing uh, to the channel or hitting that notification bell so you don't miss any video in the future at, when it comes out. Bye. OT in Space was produced by IRL, which stands for Impossible Research LLC. IRL conducts process research on the topics of innovation and industry emergence within the space sector context. IRL also offers services of organization theory consulting, research consulting, and STEAM outreach. This video is intended for educational purposes only.